Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, this week we are finally going to be testing something that you guys have suggested non-stop. Especially last week's video where we made some like beachy scenes and I had to like tape the back and there was a whole situation about the back side of the piece. So, we're going to be testing out liquid latex on the back of pieces when you do top coats and see if it's easier to peel off than tape or if it gives like a cleaner backside of it. So I'm excited to try this out. I have high, high hopes. I really want this to work because if it does, it would just be like a perfect solution to things like this that have like jagged sides and aren't like clean cut on the sides because you can't really tape those. So if you are interested in seeing if liquid latex will be the perfect solution to doing top coats and getting nothing on the back side of them, then continue watching. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later, um, I, although I am still working on this liquid latex project, I just wanted to pop in here and insert this clip at the beginning of this video to just kind of extend my support to you guys. I know the world is kind of in a weird place right now, and um, I don't know, I just wanted to extend my support and my love to you guys. So I have had a few people tell me recently that they're watching my videos to kind of, you know, distract themselves uh, from what's going on, make themselves feel better, and I love that I get to be that for you, to take you away for, you know, what, 15, 20 minutes uh, and make you feel better, um, but also, you know, stay informed and just, I wanted to encourage you guys to be supportive and loving to everybody. I know I don't really have to tell you guys to do that because I feel like my community is so special. So I just wanted to come on here and ask you guys to continue being in like an incredible community of people, supportive, loving, kind, and also let you guys know that I'm extending my support to you guys as always. My support is always there for you and I love you so, 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 so much. Uh, so I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that, kind of have like a quick little moment about it because it would just, it just feels weird to not say anything and just go on uh, painting liquid latex on stuff. So I just wanted to insert this here and now we can get back to um, painting liquid latex on stuff. I'm literally looking at the situation right now. <laughs> Okay, so these are the two liquid latexes, latexes that I bought. I have this really tiny one and it is Ben Nye liquid latex. I bought this because I wanted to make sure that whatever liquid latex we got or that we tried out would be strong enough to peel off resin. Obviously it has to be you know durable enough and strong enough to peel off like a hard plastic like resin. Uh, so I got this one because I googled what is the best liquid latex and Ben Nye popped up. And then I also got like a cheaper one that comes with a lot more because this Ben Nye one is literally one fluid ounce. This one is 16 fluid ounces so I feel like I'm really hoping that this one works. So this is the Monster Liquid Latex general purpose. And this is what it looks like. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. So I'm really hoping this will work. And yeah, it has a little bit of spillage already on it because when I opened it, yesterday when I got it, it was full to the brim and it just like kind of exploded everywhere. So it didn't explode, it just kind of like oozed out. Uh, so we are going to try these out. I have a wood piece here because I feel like that's what I want liquid latex for, is for uh, top coating things that have jagged edges like this because you can't, I mean you can tape the back side of it but it's super annoying to peel off. So I really want to try a wood piece for the jagged edges. I have some other resin pieces that I do want to try this out on, which obviously doesn't have jagged edges. It has like really nice edges. So we're going to try both styles of top coating and see if they work. Cross your fingers that this works. So I'm going to grab some pieces and we will flip them over, paint some liquid latex on the back, and then we will top coat and see how that goes.
Okay. <laughs> Top coats are on, everything's going. So what I did was, and I'm, I know you guys saw it, but I just wanted to explain it a little bit. Uh, I did one full coat, like covering the whole back side of each piece with liquid latex. And then when I went in with the second coat, I just did the ring around. And that is because whenever uh, resin does wrap around the sides and goes on to the bottom, it usually only like sticks to that very edge of it. It doesn't like cover the whole bottom. Uh, so I didn't want to waste any liquid latex just in case this actually does work. Um, and then for the smaller disc piece that I kind of brought in uh, last second, I did try out the Ben Nye one just to see if there was like a difference between like the, you know, how well it peels or if it peels at all. Um, so I did just want to test it out that way we can see like the difference between them if there is any. Uh, or if they're the exact same. So I will see you guys tomorrow when, when, <laughs> when the taco is cured and we will try to peel off the liquid latex off the back. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was like so confident that this was just gonna be like a one and done quick video uh, kind of situation and it turned out to not be that. So, I mean, I feel like I know why it didn't go as smoothly as I thought it was gonna go, especially for the wood piece. I was able to like scrape off the little droplets that were right on the very edge because of the liquid latex that's there. But as you can see right here, I literally like, it is so difficult to peel off and it's just like kind of really on there. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's because this is a porous surface. So I don't know if this is really gonna work on wood pieces like this because it's a porous surface. Uh, and that's why it's so hard to peel off is because it's like really in there. So I am going to have to sand the rest of the liquid latex off of the back of this piece. I feel like we've ruled out that this does not work for wood pieces. I don't know, question mark? Does it work for any of you guys on like some of your wood pieces? Am I using the wrong uh, liquid latex? I mean, this was like monster liquid latex that we did this one with. So it, that could be it, or I could have done it wrong, or I should have done way more layers, which is what I think would help with these other pieces is like a thicker, like several layers on the back of resin pieces. Since this is not porous, it was a lot easier to peel off and I was able to get all of it clean on the very edges and it is really nice to have like a nice clean edge because when I tape, I usually try to get it as close to the very bottom edge as possible, but there is always like just a sliver on the bottom that is not top coated. I think I'm gonna go for it again really quick. We're just gonna breeze through it. It's not gonna be uh, as detailed as the first round. I just wanna see if 
more layers of it is how people get that really satisfying peel because I, I'm sure you guys saw but even when I was peeling this it was still like kind of ripping and I have like nasty shirts of it just like all over my desk from it just like ripping and I have seen people in their videos just like kind of peel it off and it's really nice and it comes off with the resin when I was peeling it and it would get up to a spot where it had like a little resin droplet on it it would kind of like rip and I'd have to like dig under it with my nails which is totally not what I want to be doing um, my nails are nasty enough <laughs> so I don't need to be doing that I think I'm gonna try to use both the monster liquid latex and the Ben Nye one uh, and do several layers of it and see if it'll give give us a better peel so I will probably mix up some resin and off-camera and also paint the liquid latex on off-camera also I do want to say you don't totally don't have to paint the whole thing um, with liquid latex I'm probably just gonna do this outer edge that way you know because it didn't it didn't drip all the way to the center so I'm definitely just going to be doing this outer edge with it uh, so I will probably come back to you guys when we're top coating and all of the liquid latex is painted on because you guys already saw how I painted it on I'm probably gonna paint it on in a similar way just only the very outside ring of it instead and then we'll try to like peel it off tomorrow and see if it works that was what I was looking for those were the results that I was looking for so that was super fun to peel off the whole thing came off in one nasty clump and uh, both of them did the same they both came off in a nasty clump peeling off the resin with it um, I do think that this one I did have to kind of get my nail under the resin with it and kind of peel the resin with the liquid latex at the same time but it came off super easy it was nothing like uh, yesterday when we were peeling it off like I had to really dig my nail under um, but that was just for this piece but for this one it just like I'm sure you guys saw but I could just peel the liquid latex and the resin would come off with it so that was really nice with this one I was using the Ben Nye one and for the circle piece I was using uh, the monster liquid latex they both worked just fine um, I don't think that the Ben Nye one peeled off easier because it's a better I mean it could have just been a better liquid latex but I do think it also has to do with the edges of the pieces that I picked so this one the square one has like edges that go straight down and then this circle one has edges that kind of like fan out just a little bit so I think that has to do with the resin kind of like curing thicker on this on these edges then on this side because it has like a clean cut right on that very bottom edge so I think that probably contributes 
to why this was a little bit easier to peel off, but they were both super easy to peel. Now, will I be reaching for this more than tape? Um, I mean, maybe because it gives like a really nice clean edge, the resin can kind of go over the whole thing because whereas tape, I would have to have like a little sliver where the tape will sit on that very edge. Um, and then when I peel it off, that, that little sliver will have no top coat. It's not a big deal to me, but doing it this way with the liquid latex kind of eliminates that issue but the only reason why I'm I, I'm not sure I might not reach for this as much as tape is because I did five layers of liquid latex on these pieces five of them and it took 10 minutes in between each layer for the liquid latex to completely dry now I don't know if you have to like wait for the liquid latex to completely dry to put on another layer I just assumed because once you start painting on another layer of it the layer before it kind of if it's still wet it starts to kind of like kind of bunch up it does kind of take a while to get um, enough layers to be able to peel it off this easy I don't know if you necessarily need five layers. When I was at three layers, I felt like it was probably good and it was thick enough. Uh, and that was with like thick layers. Like I did, I didn't glob it on in like blobs or anything because I felt like that would probably take a long time to dry. But I did lay it on pretty thick on each layer. I feel like you're trading, you know, a few convenient things that tape offers for other convenient things that liquid latex might be offering like neither option is like perfect or the perfect you know solution I do feel like if you have the time and you're looking for a clean perfect like all around the edge um, kind of finish with the top coat then I would probably go with liquid latex it is really fun to peel off too so I'm really glad that we tested this out again and did like thicker layers because I was like this has to work I've seen people do this so I'm glad that we tried it again let me know if there's actually a brand that is best for this if you guys do this obviously like I said I've seen people do it so if you use this kind of technique for top coats and you found a liquid latex that works the very best definitely leave it in the comments because I'm sure other people are gonna want to try this so let me know if you guys have found like the best technique for it thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that it helps you out or if you want to try this out so make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram it is at artsy mad woman I love you guys so freaking much so 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 much and I will see you on the next video goodbye So fun to like break apart.